What's up everyone, it's Mark and today I have a short video for you and it's about how to market your products and where to market your products. I know I've discussed this in prior videos, but I truly do think there's one method above all that I think is most efficient and most effective. I know you have Google Ads, you have Facebook Ads, and if you really wanted to, you could make a commercial or put something on a billboard. But hey, I think that's outdated and there's reasons why. If you look at it, an online presence and online advertising is America's billboards of today. I think billboards have gone out of date, same with commercials, no one actually pays attention to them. When you drive by, you don't actually take into consideration, call this number or get off at exit 49. No one actually cares about that. It's, it's there, it's just, I think it's a waste of money personally and I think online advertising is most effective because it puts it directly in front of people's eyes. So let's get right into it. I think there's one method that's above all, like I said, and that's Instagram. So I'm going to take you over to my computer and show you how to find influencers to market your uh, particular product. And this is in relation to drop shipping, should I say, or just in general trying to sell product to a consumer. So let's get into it. So why do I think Instagram is the most effective way when it comes to marketing your products? It's because it's, it's pretty simplistic and it's very, very specific. For example, you have Celtics Insider. This profile right here is just about Celtics. So if you're trying to, let's say, be an affiliate for StubHub or Ticketmaster for selling tickets at TD Garden for Celtics games, the conversion rate is going to be pretty high because everyone is interested in Celtics. That's their team they follow during the season. Another example is would be my Kyrie post, a Kyrie Irving account that I have. And in, a, in another video down the road, I'll be making a video about how I was able to grow it to 30K. So be aware, be, be, stay tuned, and I'll put that in the bio when I do make the video. And so another example would be, let's say a person contacts me for promotional work. They want to promote their Kyrie Irving jerseys. Once again, this account is so specific that the conversion rate is likely to be high. Aside from Instagram, you do have other methods to promote your, your work or your products like Google Ads and, and Facebook. But I truly do think Instagram is the best thing to do when you're starting out because with Facebook and Google Ads, it becomes more complicated. Actually, not necessarily Google Ads, but Facebook. You have to target a specific age bracket. You have to input more logistics, and it, it becomes more a little bit more complicated. And it's more trial and error. You learn from your mistakes. You learn what works, and you learn what doesn't work, and you change things. You're going to invest more money in the long run in that than, let's say, Instagram. Because it's already shaped for you. The audience is already there for you on Instagram. You have to find the audience yourself with Facebook and Google Ads. So to find these influencers to promote your work or your products, you're going to want to basically type in the specific item or niche or thing that you're trying to advertise. So let's say you're advertising a new dog leash, you're drop shipping this. You can just type in dogs and then you can just go try to find the most popular pages. Or what I try to do is find, try to find a page with just over 100K because then the prices aren't going to be too absurd where you're paying over $100 for one 24 hour shout out. Or promotion so I already looked into this puppy globe is this would be an ideal account if I was selling puppy leashes because they already specified that they would like to do promotional work with anyone that is interested so you look for try to look for a three to five percent engagement rate so let's see eight thousand three thousand likes so this is perfect this is a perfect account so now you just got to make sure it's authentic and it's not full of bots and spam people that spam so let's go through here. Let's look through the comments. Make sure it's not just a bunch of emojis with thumbs up or check out my profile and a bunch of spamming stuff. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. You can't even comment on or can't even look at the comments on your freaking laptop. Oh, no, you can. Never mind. Uh, so, all right. Yeah, this looks pretty authentic here. So let's just go up, look at the followers to make sure it's not a bunch of uh, imageless profiles that's one right there so that that could be someone real they're just pretty lazy with making their, their profile picture i guess so yeah these look pretty this looks pretty legit so what i would do i would contact them say hello my name is etc etc i'm interested i'm contacting in regard to possibly doing promotional work for my dog leash what are your prices please give me some insight and maybe it's a 24-hour package maybe there's story packet story uh prices you get the point and maybe the more you buy from them or the schedule that you set up with them, let's say if I buy three posts now, maybe you'll give me a free one down the road. Or just basically be in touch with them and be very professional and schedule when the posts should be shared 
and ask them when their peak hours are. Ask them when their most engagement is. Say if it's 3 p.m., post at 3 p.m. Because you want to get the best, the best ROI, and basically the return on your investment. So you, you got to put some time into this, but it's really not that hard. Another way to find uh, profiles is this down arrow. This is amazing right here. If you click this down arrow, you find all these profiles exactly similar to what you were just looking at. And these could be the same thing. All these could be pages that you could promote on if you really wanted to. You just got to look into them. So dog sphere, 302K, that's a little bit too high for me because it's going to be a little absurd when it comes to the pricing. But yeah, you get the point. It's really not that hard. And I think this is definitely the easiest way when it comes to starting out and marketing your product. It's not that time consuming. But yeah, thank you so much. And please do not forget to leave a like or comment or subscribe. I'll answer all your questions because I would really appreciate it. And if this was insightful and this was this was beneficial in any way to you when it comes to, to advertising, please let me know and even email me if you want. I'll answer your, your questions. Thank you so much. Until then, I'll catch you later.